Yo, my hat be in a different angle every time I do a video. Hey, oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm feeling great. What's this over here? Minute mate. Oh, I got my minute mate. Hanging with my friends. Sight nobody's here. But I got my lens. Oh, I got my lens. I'm chilling. The hero, bruh. Don't call me you villain. But stop playing, yo, I do my thing, bruh I be on your block You can call me Jenga <laughs> What's goody? My name's Brandon, but friends call me Beto I wanted to be able to tell this story, you know, for a minute um, I kind of kept it on a low I feel like I have a lot of stories that I kind of kept behind the scenes This is a story about the time that I went to Def Jam It was a dope time Went to New York Me and the wife went to Def Jam I'm going to get straight to when we um, get to the building. So I get in front of the building and I see Universal Music Group. At the time, I was a little, I didn't have the same knowledge that I have now. I was like, if it's uni if I'm in Universal, I thought I was here for Def Jam. But Universal is a parent, parent company, you know, a parent label to Def Jam and to many other labels that are more recognized but that people would know. We walk inside and there is a lady at the counter and there's like three bodyguards just sitting there just waiting like they on like they from the men in black waiting for somebody to step so I go to the counter and I say hey you know this is Brandon Thomas I'm here to see uh, Jason Polo you know from Def Jam she said yeah 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 just go straight up here head to such and such floor and they'll be with you I was like dope so as soon as that happened those bodyguards just Open sesame that joint. You know what I'm saying I just had to slide on in. I went to the elevator. When the elevator doors opened up, I saw Island Def Jam on one side, and I saw Def Jam recordings on the other side. They were like these big silver plaques. I think um, actually here's a here's a picture of when I was in front of one of the Def Jam symbol material item thingamajiggy. <laughs> we go down the hall. And I see another lady, and so I know I have to give her my name, say, hey, my name's Brandon Thomas, here to see uh, Polo. She said, yeah, yeah, have a seat, you know, he'll be right with you. I was like, okay, we're here, and I sit down, like I'm in, I'm in Def Jam. And I see, I see photos and like, you know, photo frames of all the artists who were on Def Jam. I see Jay-Z, I see Ludacris. So I'm waiting, I'm just like a kid in a cane store, just like, Here, I made it. <laughs> and so Jason comes out and he's like, hey, what's up, man? You know, brings me in the back. And then I walk to the office. And now I'm like in the Def Jam office where the cubicles, I'm just like, oh, the Def Jam office is like everything is just like, I'm just a, I'm just like a little kid. I'm just like everything's nice because <laughs> I'm in Def Jam. It can be a pile of poop. I'm like, it's poop from Def Jam. <laughs> it didn't matter what it was. So I go in the back with Polo and I rap for him I even got you know some of the things I've done on the paper like resume just show him you know what I'm saying he seemed like he was impressed by that but his thing is dude's like dude you're nice like like you're good like that that's not the issue and I'm like I, you said your boy nice <laughs> you said I got skill what's the problem Polo let me sign them papers Def Jam he said slow your roll pimp if I bring you to my boss, what they're going to say is, how can he make us money? And has he made a bunch of money doing what he's been doing before he came here? And I said, <laughs> what do you mean by money? Basically, I knew I wasn't making no money doing what I was doing. I made some money being able to market some music before, but not what he's looking for. And back then, I had no type of viral video or viral videos. At least now, I can say here's a catalog of things that I've done and my brand has been able to reach and be able to, for this person to see it and do all these things. But back then, I had nothing, nothing. He was like, dude, like, you know, here's my email. You know, if you have anything, you know, definitely send it over. And I think Polo's a nice guy, but let's be real. That's just a polite way of saying, no. <laughs> Polo was a nice guy. And I learned from that experience and I learned that you can't just expect to be on a label just because you got skill, 
because you can flow you got some good cadence like it, it don't matter can you prove to the suit that you're not going to be a risk for their company can you bring in the numbers so that was my Def Jam story and I learned from that I learned from that and ever since then I've worked hard and grind I grinded and made sure that um, I was able to continuously put out content and as you've seen a lot of my stuff has gone viral on Facebook I've been grinding uphill ever since then <laughs> and uh, yeah so that's it and just remember every Sunday I'll be dropping a new video and if you want guys want to hear more stories please let me know um, let me know in the comment section have any of you met with any ANRs how was your experience uh, would you like to meet with an ANR what would you say you know what what no what would you do do you have a cousin do you got a friend who would love to meet with an ANR but yeah so subscribe to my YouTube channel youtube.com slash the lions offspring 34 new video every Sunday all right join the pride peace tell it, tell it, tell it, tell it, tell it, tell it.